Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, Lance Legault uh, from Hager, uh, Ontario, Canada. Uh, another video. Um, those of you who have watched my past videos, uh, just an average guy here uh, that struggled with uh, mental health, uh, depression, and anxiety. Um, you know, just decided I'd. I'd Put a few videos out there and uh, see uh, if I can help, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, anybody else that's struggling, uh, especially males. Um, it's hard to find someone that that can relate, another male that can relate or that's willing to uh, to talk about uh, mental health issues. Um, so here I am. Okay. Um, my last video, uh, again, I received uh, a lot of positive uh, feedback, um, compliments and, and comments and stuff like that. I even had a lady that was, uh, she's in the uh, mental health um, field, I guess. Um, uh, really liked my, I touched a little bit upon uh, how I look at things like uh, my anxiety and depression and mental illness is, is, is like a highway inside my head, right? Um, and just chaos and traffic jam and bypasses and you know like exits and uh, turnarounds and roundabouts and stuff like that. So uh, she asked if she could use that uh, analogy uh, uh, with her uh, clients, and I said absolutely. Like that's just something that uh, that's just how I feel. You know, if if. Uh, Someone wants to, uh, you know, uh, can relate to that. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so uh, this morning, uh, kind of a windy day here uh, at camp. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have my coffee with you guys. So I had a few comments that... Uh, you know, Lance, I really enjoy your, your, you know, what you're doing, and, and um, but I'm really curious on how you got out of depression and, and how you came out of uh, your rut. Um, uh, I'm there. I'm still there. I'm there, and it may never go away. I don't know. Like it's just I, I uh, but I've learned tools. Okay. Um, I wanted to talk about. Um, like I said, uh, the $60,000 question, when I say $60,000 question, that's um, how much out-of-pocket uh, ex expenses I, I put out for uh, for help through counseling and, and doctors and, and that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm self-employed. Um, I own a plumbing and heating company and uh Benefits uh, when you're self-employed are, are uh, very expensive, so I had a lot of out-of-pocket uh, expenses, right? So the $60,000 question, basically, when I do my reflection, it, it, it was why. That fucking word, why, okay? Now, if there's little kids around or if you, you don't like uh, that language or whatever, then you might want to turn this off because... Uh, I'm not too political, okay? All right, we'll uh, just let you... Uh, um, I'm not very well-spoken. I'm uh, something I'm learning, okay? But the fucking question of why, I asked every doctor, every counselor, uh, every therapist, why? why? You know, why can't she accept me? Or, or uh, uh, you know, uh, why, 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 why am I like this? Uh, you know why? Um, why are my kids like this? Why my ex-wife? Why my girlfriend? Why? 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 That was the question, and every god fucking answer that I got back from you know uh, most yeah it was a, a circle walk around. You know what I mean? Well, you know, well, you know, uh, journalize your feelings there for the week, and we'll talk about it next week type of thing right no disrespect to the healthcare okay I'm just speaking for myself and a man I've learned a lot from from doctors and counselors and uh, psychotherapists I'm uh, right now I'm I'm seeing uh, someone for uh, 
CBT, uh, behavior therapy. Um, and I'm enjoying that. Okay. So, um, that being said that, that, that fucking question, why? Okay. And, um, when I was at my low, I'm going to put it out there. Okay. Uh, I was at, I was at a very low point in my life where I didn't want to stick around. Okay. Um, because of that, that $60,000 question, why I couldn't understand why, um, Everybody is a judge in this world, right? Nobody went to fucking uh, uh, law school, but they're the first ones to to judge you, okay? Um, I live my life uh, at a young age, starting out uh, on work ethic, okay? And uh, for material things. And uh, working Saturdays, working overtime, uh, two jobs, three jobs, uh, got to get the new truck, buy this, buy that, buy this, buy that. Um, meanwhile, not knowing that I, I, I was suffering from uh, uh, mental illness and uh, I had no balance, no balance in my life at all. And uh, I became very weak, uh, weak minded. Um, narrow-minded um, and it over the years and over time um, it uh, drove me deep 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 into some place where um, I hope I never go back right and um, it's very hard to uh, go through that uh, alone okay um, Everyone says, oh, you have family members, this and that. When you're in that state of mind, in that position, it, 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 you know, family members is the last person you want to be around because of your your pride, right? You know, men, uh, um, they don't want to talk. They don't want to ask for help. You know, it, 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 personally, I think it's, you know, it starts out as a child with He-Man and Batman and uh, superheroes. They were all, I didn't want to watch Winnie the Pooh, you know? Um, so yeah, so, um, that, that question why, uh, almost killed me, right? And, uh, it was a switch that went off in my head, boom, like it just, uh, clicked for me and I said, you know what, like, fuck the why, right? Fuck it, you know, this is what I believe in, you know, I was being, uh, judged on my parenting I was being judged on uh, my, my uh, business uh, model I was the, being judged on the person I was my, my you know and then I started judging my own kid you know and and uh, expecting him to be uh, something that he wasn't right you know uh, life full of uh, toxic people and I I just said you know what enough is enough I have a choice here either take an exit take the next exit and don't get back on this freeway this highway or or fuck the why okay it doesn't matter why it really doesn't matter why I said I'm gonna work on my strengths okay I'm going to work on, uh, you know, being uh, more positive. I'm going to work on uh, these negative thoughts that are in my head. It, it, you know, I used to drive and it, it, I have to pull over and cry and cry and cry for no reason, you know, it, it, just because of that why in my head. Um, I learned the ability to uh, let let those thoughts, the why thoughts, uh, pass through just pass through and and concentrate on the thoughts of uh of positive you know uh i'm here today and um and this is who i am and and um no one's going to ever fucking tell me um how to be right again and, and get inside here okay um and i work on that every day um some interesting stats that I was reading that uh, in uh, in 2000 uh, divorce rate was uh, 1.7 million Canadians in 
in, in 2000 uh, were divorced. Um, so uh, 2020, uh, 3.7 million. <laughs> so, oh, you know, holy geez, is that ever terrible? Uh, it depends how you look at it, right? So, uh, you know, due to do the mass, that that massive increase, that you know, that's telling me that uh, uh, people are, are are giving up on each other. Yes, absolutely, um, but also people aren't putting up with bullshit either, right? So um, they're getting out of uh, situations uh, that are unhealthy, maybe. Um, you know, so it depends uh, how you look at it. Okay, so uh, again, um, open mindedness. Okay, um, I'm not going to uh, keep this uh, a very long uh, video. Um, I just wanted to uh, um, uh, relate, put it out there uh, to the people that, uh, to everybody, and the people that uh, messaged me about how. Um, you know, I came out of uh, my depression um, uh, was uh, just that, um, the fucking why. I got that out of my head, and um, I don't really give a fuck why, right? Uh, great book to read, The Art of Not Giving a Fuck, probably one of the best books that I ever read. Speaking of reading, um, three years ago, uh, you know, I was talking to somebody, and I said, you know, I was going, well, you know, I just, I, I just finished my first book. Oh, Lance, I didn't know you were writing a book. No, I said, hey, I'm not writing a book. I finished my first book. Well, what do you mean? So early 40s, I read my first book from front to back. Like I, I read the whole book and um, I picked up another book, you know, easy reading. I don't know, grade four, grade five uh, reading level. I don't know, but uh, but anyway, and picked up another book, and uh, and uh, readings really helped me open my uh, uh, my mind. Um, be true to who you are, and don't fucking let anybody, anybody, wife, te uh, your kids, teachers, uh, the, the, the fucking police officers, well, whoever, anyone, neighbors. Uh, don't let anybody ever, ever belittle you and get inside your head, okay? Keep an open mind. Fuck the why. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. The past is the past. Own your mistakes. Own your shit, right? Own your mistakes. And uh, things will get better uh, slowly. You won't see it. Um, but they will get better. Um, so, uh, cheers. I hope everyone has a good, uh, good day. And uh, again, anybody else out there, uh, any men, uh, you know, women too, don't, you know, uh, I, like I said, I, I don't give marital advice or anything, but I can tell you my story and what, what's worked for me. Okay. So, uh, Hang in there and uh, stay strong. And uh, today's uh, motto, uh, fuck the why. Okay? Uh, take care and uh, peace out.